Hello everyone, my name is Don, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And let's play. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Um, for the cutscenes in this game, some of them aren't gonna look as good as the menus or the gameplay itself, and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's something to do with my computer, maybe it's just because the game is pretty old. But... You're going to just have to forgive me for that. Alright. <clears throat> the traditional Star Wars kind of thing. Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic Verge is on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order Scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taris, or Taris, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Alright, so there's your backstory. Pretty much. Uh, 4,000 years before the Star Wars movies, I think. Did I did I gather that information correctly? I think I did. This happens. The Jedi Order is failing, and there's pretty much a civil war going on. And it is pretty freaking epic. All of this cutscene. There I am. Hello, me. Boy, aren't you looking as dapper as ever. <laughs> what, where am I? What is, what, what's going on? Why am I naked? Who are you? We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Uh, like I said, who are you? I'm Traz Volgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry okay. up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Okay, who's Bastila? Oh, there it is Bastila for me. is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of oh, our primary okay. duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Okay, let's go. I saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You visited planets I've never even heard of. People yeah. with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. I am pretty badass, aren't I? I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. All right, let's go help Bastila. Hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Troll entry added. Okay, here's my gear. I assume in this footlocker. Sweet, and we get experience points just for opening a footlocker. Anything else in here? I guess something to mention is that um, I won't be doing any sort of practice run of the game. I have played this game before, but it's almost on, like it's going. Okay, I'm going. On so we can get out. Okay, I'm just trying to explain something. Jeez. Um. Okay. Left clicking on. What? Okay. I didn't really read that all the way. So. Anything else I can I can equip? Okay. This. Plus one of my constitution. Okay, that's more health for me. Clothing and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I will be using more of the melee weapons instead of blasters. Okay, let's move out. We should so, stick yeah. together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Okay. Okay, that okay. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. 
You always control the left click, left click to target the door. Well, yeah, I remember that. I was just seeing if you knew. I, I did left click to target the door. Okay, let's just do it that way. Like I said, um. Now that the door is open, oh you better God, come on. Again. Okay. And I get re experience points for opening a door. That is sweet. Um. Okay. Such so tutorial. The oh my God. Our we can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That okay. Was contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. Is he? He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. All right, let's move out. Let's let's move out, dude. Dude, let's let's move out. Thank you. Jeez. All right. So let me just like pause this. There. Thank you. Now maybe I can talk for <laughs> for a second before I get interrupted by anything else. Basically, I am not a PC gamer. I don't know all the shortcuts for things. So please bear in mind that I will probably be like clicking a lot of these things around here instead of using keyboard shortcuts. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Hey. Okay. Good info. No problem. Got it. it is no problem. Don't just stand there, man. Start strafing. Strafe, strafe, strafe. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! Yeah, for the Republic. Okay, basically, you can pick different attacks here. The game pauses whenever I'm explaining that. The game pauses whenever you see an it. Okay. The game pauses. Oh my god. I know. I know, game. The game pauses before you fight an enemy. And it's pretty much you just kind of let them do their thing. And I've got a feeling yeah. that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to Okay. Okay. Click 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 click. Okay. Jeez, man. I don't know if that's lag or if it's just uh him being stupid. So we can get some more mains. Credits or money, adrenaline, I don't really even remember what that does, but I probably won't be using it. Let's let's just kinda of find out. Um Inventory, I'm sure I'll find out there. Uh bonuses to your dexterity and your speed for 120 seconds. And advanced med packs. Pretty pretty basic stuff, I guess. Alright, see how the game pauses like that? Then you can pick your enemy and pick the type of attack that you want to do. Over here will be other things that you can do later. Um, right here are your attack queue. So if you click something here, that means it goes in the queue. To get rid of it, I'm sure there's a keyboard shortcut, but you click on it like that to get rid of it as well. Um, I haven't played this on the PC before. Um, I've only played it on my Xbox, and since I don't have an original Xbox now, um, I'll be using Steam to play this game. Since I heard that there's some issues with playing this game on the 360, and I don't know what they are or why, but oh well. Alright, get some items, check some remains. Ooh, a grenade. Ooh, foot locker. Gimme give gimme give Show me your secrets. Another short sword, a long sword, and a combat suit, okay. Okay, which one is the I I'll be explaining all this later. Just stop. Okay, here we go. Now I can put on the long sword, which is better. I it does a damage from one to twelve instead of one to six, so the top damage I can do is twelve. 
And now, if I wanted to, I could dual wield the short swords. Um, but that would give me a negative two on my my power hand. So I guess I kind of don't want to do that. And I'll put on the combat suit. Gives me a bit better. Oh, gives me four defense. Much better. Um, don't worry, I won't be explaining everything as I come come up to it in the game. I'm just kind of doing it for the beginning part. Just to kind of acquaint myself and you with the game and how it works if you haven't played it before. But yes, it is an awesome game. Kind of, uh, kind of silly in the sense that they just kind of stand there and all the sound samples are kind of the same. They all die and they're like, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, let's use a grenade. Oh. At any time, you can pause the game if you want. If things are becoming a little bit too hectic, you can just pause it. Pick some things you want to do. Go kick ass. Uh, over here is your med packs and stuff, so if you ever feel the need to heal yourself, go ahead and do that. Where are, you, where, are you, where are you going? Alright, let's get some of these parts. I'll explain parts later. I'm sure the game will just do that for me. Med pack, frag grenade, simple stuff. They give you plenty of med packs in the beginning of the game. Just so you don't die, obviously. But more money. More money. Usually, uh, any characters that you see that are just lying on the ground like this, they won't have remains if they, if you didn't actually see them get killed, but usually enemies that you kill yourself will usually drop some sort of remains. It's a dark this fight is too much for us. Nah, let's go kick his ass. We got him. Come on. Throw a grenade or something. Yeah. Come on! The Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. Well, can we just take her lightsaber? Still another grenade. Goodbye. Ha ha ha. See, since we saw her die, but we actually didn't kill her, we can still pick up some stuff. I'll explain some of the stuff that I'm getting later. It's nothing too. Dude, dude, get out of my way. Nothing too crazy. You're not gonna understand. It's kind of just basic things with med packs and whatnot. You don't really have to be too worried about healing yourself in this first part. It's quite easy. So let's make our way to the bridge. Pause. Thank you. Now right here, I'm gonna throw another grenade and back up. Usually I can get those guys by doing that only two or three times that I've played through this intro part so far the past couple of days. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. Sith okay. want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Okay. I can't pick up their remains. Okay. Well then. It's a lot of grenades. Anything I can pick up over here? No? Get out of my way, thank you. Nothing cool? Okay. I have to level up before I pass through the door? Okay. <laughs> okay. See, as you can see here, let me cancel this. You don't get to upgrade your, you know, your attributes would be here, and... I don't know what goes here. I think it's something that comes later in the game as you progress. But yeah, you see, I get four skill points, and that's due to my intelligence and wisdom. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you get a you get a bunch of points. So um, I suppose we could put some more on a tree injury, make their med packs, do some more work for us. And the feats over here. Um, I think I'm going to grab the critical strike and accept. So now that I've upgraded, now can I open the door? 
Now that I've leveled up, thanks. Dude, come on, go fall. Really? Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! No, come on, we can handle him, dude. Come on. Trask. Dude, what are you doing? Trask, no. Trask, stop. Stop. Dude, come on. Open it. <sighs> Trask, you will forever be remembered. I'm sorry, man. Poor Trask. This is Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk okay. escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Okay. I'll be there shortly. Okay, are there any more enemies around here? No? Okay, let's see what cr Critical Strike does. Um, let's add a couple other things in here. <laughs> Sweet. So basically, like I said, there's not going to be anything in these people, so I don't know why I keep going and checking. Um, there are things that come with the critical strike and, and attack and stuff, like reasons to use them and reasons to not use them, but it has to do with like the, the DC-20 rule thing and not something that I'm familiar with. I just kind of pick whatever and just go for it. Um, it doesn't really make that big of a difference to me. I know that just regular attacks are pretty useful. And to not use your... your... Uh, your other... your flurry and stuff like that. All the time. It's best to to mainly use regular attacks. Careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Why not both? Picture of a little girl being held up. Yeah. So they give you all the stuff that you need to do either or. Um, I have enough, dude. I have enough skill in both to pick either one. I am going to repair the droid, though. Pretty much all you have to do is just click repair, and then you know it's pretty self-explanatory. Engage him in patrol mode. Then I can activate its shield. And that's pretty much it. Get 130 experience points for it, but before he goes in there and kicks ass, I kind of want to view this, because you get to see him just fuck everything up. And there we go. I could override this power conduct and get some more experience, but I think I'm just going to keep the computer spikes for now. Grenade. This red guy that probably would have kicked my ass and a prototype Viber Blade. Sounds pretty cool. I'll equip that in a second. Once I uh, make sure that there's nothing else in this room I can pick up. Oh, I didn't mean to press that key. I need to figure out which... I think it's you to get to this screen. Let me just try that out really quick. Yep, it is. So now I'll put on the prototype Viper Blade. As you can see, it's much better than the 213. It's now 312. That This number here means that it'll do anywhere from 3 to 12 damage, I believe. And plus 3s. See, uh, I don't know. It's really difficult to understand stuff like this, to me at least. Because um, I never really... You've made it play games time. that have stuff like this other than Come this on. game it usually just kind of does it itself I'm a soldier with Republic like you okay We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire 
Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. Okay, I won't ask you any more questions, Karth. Well, let's get out of here. Use the escape pod. Use it. Use it. Okay, then step away from it. Do something with it. Come on. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just skip a cutscene? I really hope I didn't. Huh. I guess not, because this is a cutscene as well. Who's this? Who, who, who are you? What a weird dream. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Uh, yes, I remember. Okay. seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were all gone. Hmm. Well, thanks, Karth. Well, I guess I owe you my You're life. Thanks. Me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, but I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. Oh, I saw on your service out. records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no I way am pretty badass. to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila ah. was the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Okay. Let's see. How do you know if Bastila's still any idea where we should start looking for Bastila? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. Right. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. That's true. Well, I do want to ask you some questions, but I need to end off the episode because it's getting quite up there in time. So... I will see you guys in the next one.